What's up everybody, Nonpon here. And in this video, I want to cover some things that are easily missable in the event that we currently have. Now, don't get me wrong, I really enjoy the events we have, but sometimes the events aren't explained with the most details. So let's go ahead and get right into it. And hopefully this video can help you out. Maybe you might learn something that you didn't know. So for those who have been doing the Star Master Pokemon event here, as you level up your Trailblaze level, you'll get access to like more Pokemon slots, and more party limits and things like that. But if you get to level 25, you can earn a new avatar frame. Some people actually did not know about this. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know about this until a week later. So that's something else you can earn. It's purely cosmetic. Uh, but I do believe it will be going away once the event's over, so that's completely up to you. Some other people were curious about what rewards you get at the very end of these stages here. And just to give you guys a preview, it's mostly just Fiber Oxon and some logistics experience. It's the same across the board for the last four stages. It's still a pretty decent amount, though. That's the first thing I want to cover. The other thing I want to cover was the Paradoxal Labyrinth. So if you guys don't know, you can press the fight button over here, then go to Paradoxal Labyrinth, and then finally go to Deduction and the bottom right corner. And then you have two modes. You have Standard Mode, which we're used to, and I'm covering the screen, hold on. And then you have Shadow Raid Mode, which is the cooler one, in my opinion. It takes you to a variety of different stages we've been through in the past, and some different bosses as well. I like the Shadow Raid one a lot. I wish it was permanent. But anyway, when you do the Shadow Raid version, you will unlock some tickets here, right? You'll get some tickets that look like this. You get them from dailies and weeklies, and you can spend those on this gotcha pyramid here. You can do 10 pulls or single pulls, and this can earn you some decent rewards. Now, one thing I believe is pretty missable is that over here on the right, there's an arrow. You click that arrow, and then you move on to a new pyramid. And this one gives you another cosmetic that you can use. It's a name card. And you can only get access to this once you get the top reward of the previous pyramid. So once I get all five of these weapon summons, I'll be able to go over to this pyramid, right? And once I finish this pyramid, I can move on to the next one, which is Digicash. And who doesn't like Digicash, right? And then once you get the top rewards for this one, you can move on to the most interesting one is an unlimited farm. Now, it's still limited because it's based off the event, but this is the first time ever that we've been able to farm Opa vouchers. Uh, usually we only get these from doing um, weeklies, right? Or other events. So this is pretty interesting that you can actually farm these in a limited amount if you're lucky, right? Uh, so that's pretty cool. Maybe there's some extra furniture you want to get. Uh, completely up to you what you prioritize. I think these rewards are pretty good. I would at least focus on the top three for each pyramid because stamina is always nice. And these uh, carbon atomic plates will help you level up your weapons more. So I think the top three are definitely worth getting if you can on all of them, actually get them all right. And then up to you if you want to farm the Opa vouchers. It's still RNG. But yeah, that's another thing that was pretty easily missable in my opinion. I, I know some people that did not even know that was even a thing. So just keep that in mind. Keep that all in mind. And hopefully you guys can um, get the rewards you're looking for. And don't miss out on anything. But it's just going to be a quick video today, guys. I just want to bring those two things up. Still working hard on the Enya Guide and other projects. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.